Welcome to another Christmas gift inspiration. Today I'm going to talk about teacup and china gifts. You know, I love to go to thrift stores and I picked up some really good bargains um, a couple of years ago in this china, a beautiful china pattern. I've got two here. One whole box was $10 and then I paid like 50 cent and 25 cent a piece for cups and china saucers. Um, so I'm pulling it all back out because I've got some great teacup ideas using all this beautiful china and if you're into cottage core this video is for you because you can use this beautiful um, china patterns in your home to decorate with so i've got some candle ideas um, and this is the first thing i want to go over is my teacup candles now i do have a video on how to make soy candles i'll leave that link below but it's really easy you just melt the soy wax and You've got to purchase these wicks, and I use um, a, some skewers to hold the wick in place, and then you just pour in your melted wax. You can use color and scents in your wax, and it's that easy. You've got a beautiful teacup um, candle. Now, I did glue the cups to the saucers so they wouldn't turn over easily, but they just look so pretty. I use the E6000 glue on all these projects. See how pretty that is? So that's one idea to use um, some antique teacups that you pick up at the thrift store or like this one was given to me when we cleaned out an elderly lady's house. So these are some great ideas, some beautiful teacups. Now the next idea is to make a tiered tray and you will need some type of a, a drill press. My husband has a drill press and we bought a um, diamond bit drill bit for this and um, last year he drilled the holes all in it for me. But you could use um, glass candlestick um, holders from Dollar Tree if you don't want to go to the pro um, you know all the process of drilling a hole in the china. But I did purchase these tear tray um, screw on, I don't even know what they're called anymore, but you, you just screw this on and it makes um, tear trays. These are metal rods and you just put on a washer between each plate and the, the screw is in the bottom. And I'll link these below um, in the description box where to pick these up at Amazon. But you just put on your washer and then your next layer and another washer. Now here you could, um, you've got another one, so it's going to be three tiers. Here you could go ahead and put your cup on at the top of this. I chose to use that smaller round um, dessert plate and I'll show you how we make a jewelry um, organizer with this and then of course your top piece but I'll link that where to buy those they're not expensive at all and they're on Amazon but I've got a lot of these left over from a um, sale I had a couple of years ago but you could use this to put some finger foods on you know for a wedding reception or a bridal shower or something but I decided to make a jewelry organizer for myself these would make a great gift and you just hang your earrings on the top and then bracelets and then if you've got any rings that would be pretty to go in the top and just holds all your jewelry and it's such a beautiful china pattern so that is another idea you could always use the teacup at the top to hold um, rings and stuff but i just thought it was so pretty with the jewelry hanging on it and then the next idea to use um, with the teacup is to make a little bird feeder. And so what you'll need to do is to take a cup and saucer, and this does not have a hole in it, and your E6000 glue, and go ahead and get you a piece of um, masking tape torn out that's going to fit all the way across and hold this teacup in place while it dries. And so I'm going to, um, I needed to wipe that out. I didn't want to have to worry about wiping it out after I glue it. So make sure your china pieces are all nice and clean, ready to go, and that they're not moist where the glue is going to stick. 
So you just kind of eye where you're going to set it and you want the handle upwards because we're going to put some ribbon through that to hang. Now I would say hang this under a porch or just set it on the outside porch table so that it's not out in the weather. But it's really pretty when you put the little bird seed in it. So I let it sit and then I'm going to tape across it because this needs to sit for about 24 hours. And this china I picked up a whole box at a vintage um, domestic violence store um, for 10 bucks. So I got a lot of dishes out of this one box. All right, so that's just going to sit aside um, for 24 hours until it dries. And I've got my little bird seed already tied up in a pretty bag and I'm just going to put a bow on it. And then you'll include that with the gift. Now this little teacup and saucer, I decided to make a pin cushion. So I'm just gonna put some of the E6000 glue on the base of the cup. And you don't have to use china if you wanted to use a, a really cute fiesta ware or any kind of modern type dish, that's fine. Whatever you wanna use. And again, I'm going to tape this down so it holds in place and dry securely. Now, the next day, I'm ready to make these gifts. So I just made a ball, just like you do the yo-yos, a big ball, um, gathered it around the edge, then filled it with polyfill. I loaded it with some um, hot glue, not the E6000, but regular hot glue, and then just stuck it in. And that's, that's how easy this is. And it's a beautiful gift. Then I just put on some really pretty pins. And for somebody that sews, that's a nice little gift. And now back to the bird feeder. It's all dry and I've taken off the tape. And I put on a really pretty wire ribbon that you can hang this from your porch or set it on a little table. And then just pour the um, bird seat right inside the cup. But I'm going to wrap this up for a gift. And like I said, I wouldn't leave this out in the weather because you don't want rain to get all in the bird seat. But that's another gift idea. So I hope you liked all these ideas I have. Um, leave me some comments below about what you think. If you've got any questions, um, check out the description box for where you can purchase some of these items. And again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a very blessed holiday season.